All right, well, you can see that it is clearing the block. The signal is now gone. And they've got it lined up, so it's uh, it's making its way. And the Amtrak is now completely gone. And they lined the, um, they went ahead and lined that one in the siding. I can actually see its rear marker as it's departing, so. There it is in this block now. I don't know why it didn't fill this one in, but so now it's in this block. That was an interesting horn that had trap. I've never seen that before, trap. Interesting. Very cool stuff. I'm digging it. So there it is going by in real time too. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and we'll get back up to it when the next one's clear. Now this one's about to be done. It's almost gone. There's actually some decent light here on this street. Not to clear up, so it's pretty much gone now. This was in the siding, not the yard, West Pass, East Pass. Gone. It'll take it a few minutes, but the monitor will have to clear out the blocks. Sometimes, sometimes if it's not working just exactly right, which I have a high error rate, um, that'll decrease whenever I get an actual radio, but you'll have to come through and you can clear out. Cause we know it's out of the siding, so you can clear out these blocks. We know it's past here now, and we know it is just about over the diamond. You can hear it in the background, so. Just cleared the diamond. I'll go ahead and clear that out. Well, it looks like we have another one coming. I just saw a headlight come on. <laughs> so, yeah, you can tell. So it had to re... Basically, there was one behind that one. Now it's already in the block. So they're going to line that one next. This is very busy right now. Yeah, it looked like it. They, I saw a headlight come on, then they turned them right back off. I'm not sure what's going on. Probably ought to have my radio on scan. That's my uh, VHF just for listening to the cruise talk. So yeah, it's coming and going. So every time there's a chirp, it's listening. There's a bunch of them coming in right now. There's a bunch. You can see them going down the line. I don't know if they're gonna let this one go or not. Yep, they're gonna let CSX go. So let's go over and watch that one. All right, so they've got the CSX lined up, as you can see, I'm now on the St. Louis line side. We've got a pretty good spot under some light here. We're going to go back to the Amtrak station. So I'm going to go ahead and film this one when the lights come on. They've got this guy all lined up. Oh, well, so they're going to run two CSX here. You can just see the main two just got a signal. I don't know why they've got these... Uh, those not, should not be occupied. So like I said, I'm running a pretty high error rate, so it could just be that. You gotta have to play with it, but this is a lot of fun. And there we go. So you can see it's up to that block and it'll almost be in ours soon. So this is very cool. I'm gonna go hop out and show you guys. This eastbound is about to clear up. Point. 
that northbound that we just saw is basically up uh, right there at that hot bot detector. Yeah, I have it ordered for 2100. The assist over. Let's go over to the Amtrak station and continue this before I uh, head home for the night because it's pretty busy. Stay tuned. All right. We've got Q206 approaching us on the number two main here at Effingham. I may have to cut this video into two parts, so stay tuned. All right. Yep. It's in the block approaching shortly, and I'm not sure what kind of a leader this is, but got some pretty good light here uh we're right over the right over by the overpass effingham kind of by the amtrak station that horn sounds like it's foul SX has officially released it back. CN will be hopefully lining something north soon. Very, very nice spot for uh, nighttime shooting over here in Effingham. If any of you guys want to uh, I'll be on the midnight ship very shortly. storm here shortly that'll be clearing out here in any minute running down to about 67 percent error so we're doing better basically the error rate i think is all the signals and radio traffic that's coming in that it can't do anything with it's basically an error so like for far weak signals that are coming in that just doesn't know what to do with them it just puts it as an error so i think that's why it's getting a lot of those I think that's pretty common, they say, for field monitoring. CFX detector, mile one, three, four, point nine on track, eight, one, no, defect. So that Repeat. west, or correction, that defect. eastbound Total. is at T-Town right now. Four, zero, detector. Well, we'll see if anything else gets lined up. If not, then uh, this will be the end of it, so we'll see what happens. Well, everyone, it cleared up pretty much the only thing left right now is a little train in the block on the west pass um, it's pretty much dead now so i'm gonna call it a night and the storm is now here so we knew that was about to happen but at least it held off for me so uh anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video on field monitoring and you know i think i got it figured out pretty well so you guys have any questions hit me up in the comments see if i can help you guys out but uh i'll leave a list of all the necessary equipment for this and kind of how i'm doing it down in the comments so uh that'll be all for today so we'll catch you guys next time let me know how you if you like this video or not kind of go to a lot of trouble to get all this stuff done so we'll uh we'll catch you guys later